Exercise is great for so many reasons, but what if you just can't fit it in? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to lose weight without exercise. Hi, it's Ivana helping you get fit, healthy, and strong at any age. Exercise is not as effective for weight loss in the short term as most people think. Yes, it's always best to modify your diet and exercise in order to lose weight. People who exercise are more likely to maintain their weight loss in the long term when we look at two or three years down the road. But a temporary pause in your exercise routine won't really affect your weight loss if you're careful with your calorie intake. So if you wanna lose weight, you need to get into a calorie deficit and that means burning off more calories than you take in. One way of doing that is to monitor your food intake. Now this can be just in the form of a food diary that you're writing yourself, or you can actually use an app to track and monitor your calories and your macros. Just keeping a diary has been shown to affect people's behavior and allow them to lose weight. I've actually had clients tell me that when they started nutrition coaching, just having to write down the food that they're eating affected what they were eating and they tended to eat less and they tended to eat a bit better. So maybe more aware of what you're taking in can influence your behavior. Reduce your portion sizes. Now, of course, this is coming down to reducing the quantity of calories that you're taking in. You can do this through using smaller plates. So you're only eating what's on your smaller plate. It gives you a bit of a visual. When you're finished everything that's on the plate, that means that you should be done. Same thing with smaller bowls. It feels like you're finished when you're done with a small bowl of something. You can actually take this to the next level and you can use measuring cups like I do for certain things like nuts. You can actually keep track of the quantity in a more specific way. Remember that you can have almost any food that you want. What matters is the quantity. Certain foods are very high in calorie density, so they have more calories for their serving size. So if you reduce those foods, that can make an impact as well. Eat protein with every meal. Protein is the most thermogenic nutrient. It contributes to satiety, so the feeling of fullness with a meal. Higher protein diets tend to help people manage their cravings, particularly for carbs carbs, and that reduces calorie intake naturally. I've got a video about sources of protein, so you might wanna check that out if you're looking for some ideas for adding protein to your diet. Add more vegetables. Sometimes it surprises me how few vegetables people have in their diets. The minimum really is about five servings of vegetables a day. Ideally, you're having more. Vegetables are very high in nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and they're actually very low in calorie density. The same thing goes for fruit as well. So you don't need to eliminate the fruit because of the sugar. Fruits and vegetables fill you up with very few calories, and that helps you lose weight. Move around more. So in the energy equation, this pertains to NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So all the movements that you do throughout the day add up over time. This does refer as well to things like fidgeting, but there's not much you can do to affect that. I don't want you to sit around shaking or anything. It doesn't add that many calories. They've just found that people who fidget tend to burn off more calories naturally. What's actually important is that you move around throughout the day more often. 10,000 steps a day is a really nice goal. Honestly, if you start to look at what 10,000 steps is, it's actually quite a lot, and most of us are not doing that. So if you can just increase your walking a little bit more, where Wherever you can incorporate walking. The same thing goes for sitting at your desk. If you can get up more often, if you can stand for periods of time, that burns slightly more calories as well. So if you're the kind of person who's up and around a lot more, you're gonna burn slightly more calories. Most of us can benefit from moving around more often, myself included. Way too many hours in front of the desk, not moving. Set yourself a timer if you need to, to get up periodically and move around. This is for your health as well as a small calorie burn. Drink zero calorie beverages. Now water should be the main thing that you're drinking. Two liters or eight glasses is a very rough guideline. There's no scientific basis for this. If you're a very small person, you drink less. If you're a very large person, maybe a little bit more. But if you're not drinking enough, you probably know it. If you're only having one cup of water in the morning or one cup of water in the afternoon, that's probably not enough. You need more water if it's a warm environment compared to a cold environment. If you're out there sweating a lot, then you need to drink more water. So adjust your fluid intake according to how you feel. So that's thirst and also based on your pee. 
So if it's fairly clear, that's what you want to see. If you see a lot of color in there and it's not immediately after taking certain vitamins, because that's something that you might see as well, then you probably need to drink more. Now, zero calorie beverages means that you can also drink things like tea, whether it's herbal tea, green tea, black tea, white tea, or coffee. There's nothing wrong with coffee in terms of fat loss. In fact, there are some ways that coffee can help your weight loss. So it gives you a bit more energy. So you're more likely to move around and be more active. It may help to reduce your appetite a little bit. So you're naturally gonna consume fewer calories as well. Coffee itself is virtually calorie free, but if you stick a lot of cream and sugar or even whipped cream as some people do into your coffee, then you're adding a lot of additional calories that are gonna make it harder for you to lose weight. So just be mindful what you're adding. You wanna reduce your intake of high calorie drinks or very sugary drinks that can contribute to calories that don't have a lot of nutritional value. Eat the fruit rather than the fruit juice if you're trying to lose weight. And along the same lines with zero calorie liquids, drink water before meals. So about half an hour before you're scheduled to eat, have a glass of water just to take the edge off and to make sure that you're not dehydrated. In research, it's been shown that people are likely to reduce their calories at their next meal if they have water prior. The main research for this was done on a group of people who are 55 to 75 and overweight and obese. So it may not apply to everybody, but it's one of those things where it's really simple to do and to try out and see if it works for you. And it has no harmful effect, so it's worth a try. And my next tip to lose weight without exercise is to establish a routine for eating. It's been shown in the long term for people who are able to keep weight off that one of the things that they do is they schedule their meals and they have a plan. So you know when you're gonna have your meals, you know approximately what you're gonna have in those meals. So you're gonna focus on the protein and the vegetables and that's gonna be the base of each meal. Some people benefit from intermittent fasting simply because it gives them a time when they can eat and then a time when they stop eating. Often if we don't have any limits and we just continue to eat whenever we think we're hungry or basically whenever we're craving something, then we're going to eat more than we actually need, more than our body needs to sustain itself. And that's why we tend to put on weight. If you want to lose weight and start to work with those natural feelings of hunger and find out what's actually going on in your body, then it's often helpful to set those scheduled times for eating and make sure you have a plan. If you notice that you're a little bit hungrier, you may add an another snack at a certain time, but having more structure can help you stick to your diet. So I'm curious, since you've clicked on this video, losing weight without exercise, why have you decided not to exercise or why can't you exercise at the moment? Comment and let me know. Please hit the like button if this was helpful. Subscribe and hit the bell for more evidence-based fitness and nutrition information and check out these other videos as well.